Hello, this is Scott. So we're continuing our series. This is a basic Statistica tutorial series. I hope you were with us previously um, because last time we covered getting data into Statistica and uh, our emphasis there was on local files. And uh, this time we're gonna cover the same topic, but specifically database tables and queries and workspaces. Um, so we're going to extend those local files into workspaces, and then we're going to talk about databases and uh, tables and queries. And then next time we're going to be talking about um, uh, not necessarily getting data into Statistica, but we're going to be talking about once I have data into Statistica, six ways to, to join data together, uh, merges, matches, um, concatenation, and Cartesian uh, joins. So hopefully you'll be able to attend that one. So um, real quickly, I've got a, a, a workspace here. So one of the things that you can do in, in Statistica is you can create these workspaces and drop um, data down along the left side and then continue your analysis and everything flows from left to right. You can have multiple ways to bring in and data that we're, we're talking about. And then you can do all sorts of things to cleanse that data, to check the, the veracity, validity of that data. And we'll be getting into each one of those within our series. Um, but here I have the, um, the data already here. Let me show you how easy it is to create a workspace. So if I have a data set up, for example, right here, and I go to File, New Workspace, um, there's templates that are in the, the platform. I'm just going to click on a blank template. And then since I have this import Excel available as, a, as an input, I click OK. And then I've got start for my, my uh, workspace. And then everything else is just, you know, drag and drop from, from there, from the menu or the node browser. And we'll, we'll get into more of that in the future. Um, uh, tutorials, but I want to let you know at least how I got to this point. So in here under the data tab, if you go to external data, you can see there's a variety of different ways to bring data in. I could bring this data in through uh, uh, like a Hadoop HDFS um, cluster. I can import into Excel, uh, text, uh, you know, fixed uh, file. I can query spreadsheets. Um, streaming, database connections, ETL, which we'll cover in a future series, enterprise data, which we're going to talk a little about today, um, Pi connector, OSI Pi, real-time um, data coming in through a source, um, and then exports into sources. So that's, that's just one way with this menu, some of the connections, and we're going to talk about a few of those today. And then another way to do it is to bring in data sources, bring in from a file or databases. But <clears throat> I want to talk about three ways. Actually, we, last time we talked about the ability to import Excel in with just a file open. And I'm going to show you how to set it up if you're creating a workspace. So if I click on import Excel, I just create, go to a file. Um, and then I, I can select any file off of my computer that I want. Here I've got some asthma data and look for a, an upcoming um, five-part series on predicting asthma um, uh, as, as part of my YouTube uh, uh, whatever <laughs> channel, I guess. Um, and so here I've got, this should look familiar if you were here last time, where I'm going to, uh, what columns I'm going to bring in from this Excel file. And I can set all the different properties. And once I have that, the property set, I just can click OK. And then we see that Statistica creates a spreadsheet from that. And so here is my small cut of my asthma data that, uh, um, I'm using as an as an example today. The other thing is if I wanted to um, query spreadsheets, this is kind of cool. So let me say that I have you know multiple 
spreadsheets and I want to create a join, I can create a, a query here. Um, and so I'm going to do the advanced query builder here. Let me just rebuild this, this query here and here. So this is spreadsheet one, this is spreadsheet two. Here, for example, I've got the same spreadsheet, but you can have certainly different sources. You, you define your, um, where you want to join upon, uh, basically your, your, um, the, the, the field, the, the field, I'm sorry, the column or variable that you want to um, use as an index, and then select your variables here. I'm going to select uh, everything that came from a medical uh, record, uh, electronic medical record here. Maybe I'm getting all of that from, from one system, and then, actually, uh, and then I'm getting self-report data in from another database here um, through another system. Uh, so you get the idea. And once I do that, I can return data. Oops. And uh, click OK. And then I can run that. And then I get the results of that join. And again, that can, I can join on multiple tables. So it's just like SQL or tables, but I'm actually querying Excel spreadsheets. So that's kind of neat. The other thing that we covered last time was importing text. So this should look familiar if, if you were there or if you want to go back. Um, the ways that you can bring in uh, text, all sorts of delimiting the options that you have. So to put it into a workspace, all I need to do is specify where I have that file. And, uh, you know, uh, that becomes my uh, file down here, and then I can preview it, adjust it, um, and then run it. And that I can use that for downstream documents. And then lastly, the, or the last thing that we're going to cover today is bringing in a database connection. So here I'm bringing in enterprise data, but you can create this through an ODBC connection you, where you specify a database and a table that you want to bring in. And enterprise, this will be the example today, you need two things. So if I go to enterprise manager, that you need to be able, you need to set up a database connection and that's easy enough. You just essentially can, you know, right click on your database connections and then, you know, for example, do an OLEDB connection where you walk through and set that up. Um, uh, specify the parameters there. Once you have that, once you have the database connection, and I'm going to use this SWB uh, examples data connection, I'm, then you create a query. So this is my ASMA folder where I have my ASMA assets within Enterprise, and um, I'm going to do a, I define this small data cut. To do that, all I had to do was right click on ASMA, say new uh, data configuration, and specify this as, let's say, temp. Tell it what my connection I'm going to use. And again, I said SWB example, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on new for a new query. I can name this whatever I want, ASMA, ASMA query. And then I can go to Advanced SQL Wizard. That'll come up in just a second. And it looks like it just before, except here's my full list of tables that I have here. So we were talking about the small asthma cut. And I can define that query however I want to. I can select all. This is the SQL statement down here. Um, I can select individual records. I can set multiple tables, do any sort of join that I want to, uh, either visually or I could just write my own SQL out, and then I return that data. Um, and uh, Enterprise just says, okay, here's your data, here are your columns that you're bringing in. Um, everything's good to go. Um, if, I, if I say next step, then it's going to ask me if I want any other, other things that I want as part of that. I won't do that um, here later sessions we can get into that 
But if I click commit, in other words, file save, um, it's going to say, you know, do you want access permissions? So enterprise is a very secure um, environment. And you can have, here you can have role level, so administrators, engineers, everyone, and you can define those roles. Um, and you can have individual as well. So, um, so here I might say that, you know, everyone has read access to this particular um, data. Um, I may say that admin has both read and edit. Um, this is me, I wanna give myself edit capability. So I can define those user permissions and then I can commit that to my, to my metadata, my database, and now I can use that data connection. So I can, um, if I run that query, I get the data back from, from that query and, and there it is. It's that easy. And then I downstream documents, I can create, you know, whatever plots I want. I can do a, a machine learning method uh, here. I can, I can basically drop down any sort of um, analysis, any sort of uh, machine learning uh, piece that I want, including neural nets, et cetera. And we'll cover all of that. Here I was just doing a simple um, bivariate plot. Um, so, I can see the relationship to, to med compliance versus inhaler adherence for, for asthma. Lastly, you can write, so we brought in data from a spreadsheet. We can actually write data uh, back to a database here. Um, you don't, and, and that can be just a, um, any sort of database, Oracle, SQL, Teradata, what, whatever you want. So hopefully this has been useful to you. Um, and, uh, Please send me an email if you have comments, uh, suggestions. I, I want to hear from you. And uh, next time, we'll be talking about getting, uh, not getting data into Statistica, but actually ways to join data once I have it in the Canvas. And I can do that from several different ways, again, from the data tab. But I have ways to concatenate variables. I can do matching. I can do merging. I can do et cetera. So, a way to manipulate data, do traffic control for your data on your, uh, your workspace itself. So thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you next time.